What is going on guys, Codestar here, back with another retro unboxing. Today I have the A12 Seaborg. Now this is a defense type Beyblade owned by that guy there, uh, Spencer, from the Demolition Boys, which was the bad guy team at the end of Season 1. So here's the stats. I can't quite read what all the stars mean, but it honestly looks pretty balanced for a defense type but I don't know we'll just have to see what the parts look like to be sure so yeah I guess let's just go ahead and get it unboxed Alright, so here's all the parts unboxed and out of the, of the sprue, so here's what you get, here are the stickers, here is the bonus sticker, I'll have to look up who this guy is, here's our blade base, which is the defense grip base, although it's not doing much gripping without the tip, so I'll go ahead and put that in. I don't have it all the way in yet, but it'll get pushed all the way in once I put the spin gear in. Here's all our parts for the spin gear, which I'll put together during the build. Base clips. Here is the attack ring, which is the whale attacker, which honestly I think looks pretty nice. Here's our weight disc, which is 8 wide. This is the same disc that comes on Dragoon F, and then of course you get your bit chips. Alright, let's go ahead and get this thing together. And here is the completed Beyblade. Like I said before, I really like the attack ring design. And the bottom has the bolts on it, really bringing together the robotic whale theme. And that blue is honestly pretty nice. And I'm sure once we get the stickers on, it'll look even better. So that'll do it for the overview. So let's go ahead and get this in the stadium. This Beyblade doesn't come with a launcher, so I'll be using my modded string launcher here. So three, two, one, go shoot. And just like what you'd expect from a defense type, it's just circling the inside of the stadium there. But now let's go on to the test battles. The first battle will be up against the BBA balancer. All right, here we go. And it looks like Seaborg lost that first round, but luckily he still has two chances, so let's go on to the next round. For the second round, Seaborg will be up against Dragoon. Seaborg is definitely losing stamina from all those heavy attacks, and it lost. Alright. It's got one more chance to redeem itself in the third round. So here we go, the third round will be a rematch with Dragoon, since I don't actually have a fourth Beyblade to do it the third round with. And it looks like Seaborg lost again. That's three in a row. 
So that was my unboxing of the Seaborg Plastic Gen Beyblade. Uh, I gotta say I'm really disappointed in its performance in the stadium. It lost every round that it was in. I still think it looks good. Unfortunately, looks aren't everything though. But if there's any other info you want to know about this Beyblade, I'll leave a wiki link in the description. Stay tuned into my channel. I'll be doing more Plastic Gen unboxings in the future. I've still got a bunch to unbox. But that'll be it for this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.